Number two from the 2018 Advanced Star Maths, four mark question here for carry out this integration and it's telling you which way to proceed. It says use partial fractions. Well, partial fractions means splitting that up into two fractions with linear denominators. Well, the first step would be to factorise that. x squared minus 2x, oops, minus 15, factorises to x times x, that must be 3 fives. The negative goes to the larger one, so that's the factorisation. So what you've got is 3x minus 7 over x plus 3 times x minus 5. And you're going to let that equal a over the x plus 3, so some constant over the linear term, plus b over the x minus 5, some constant over the other linear term. Now, if you were to add them back together, you would have a times x minus 5 plus b times x plus 3 as the numerator. That must be the same as this numerator, 3x minus 7. You may just say, take that across and multiply. And I'm just going to do this, so I'm saying nothing about it. I'm going to do it by inserting values because it's the simplest way. Let x equals, I want to work at a first, I'll knock out that one. Let x be negative 3. If that's the case, that says negative 8a will equal, with negative 3, that's a negative 9, take away 7. That's negative 16. Divide by negative 8 means a equals 2. And I'm going to let a x equal 5. That'll knock out the a and give me 8 lots of b. And that'll be 15, take away 7, which is 8. So b is going to be divided by 1. So now I know what it's equal to. It's equal to 2 over x plus 3 plus 1 over x minus 5. Now I just go back to this and put that in then. So that's made up of two parts. A 2 over x plus 3 and a 1 over x minus 5. And they're just linear denominators, they pop back to logs. So the first one will be two lots of the log of x plus 3, and that's just one lot of log of x minus 5, and then, of course, plus c. Put them inside the wee safety blankets there, because the log is quite a fussy wee creature. Now, I can't add them together yet, because that 2, so I'll just have to write this again. So that becomes squared. Upon squaring it, that guarantees that that's a positive number. So the log's quite happy now. So it can have its friendly wee round brackets back, but that's stuck. So it has to have its austere, straight, laced brackets on. Right, now tidy that up, because a log plus a log is just a log of the product. I don't know that you particularly need to bother about the nature of the brackets that you put down if you just keep them all inside of that, those straight forms. It's only four marks for the whole question after all.